Now to continue with the next circumventricular organ, if you look very closely just under the pineal gland, there's a small structure here where my probe is pointed. That is known as the posterior commissure. But if you look further below the posterior commissure, right at the place where the foramen of Monroe, foramen uh, aqueduct of Sylvius is starting, there is a structure here which is known as the subcommissural organ. Now, this subcommissural organ is a topic of hot research now because they have found that though this is a circumventricular organ, it does not have fenestrated capillaries. It is lined by non fenestrated capillaries. So, therefore, the question is how does it function as a, non as a circumventricular organ? The, one of the postulates is that it is somehow responsible for circulation of CSF from the third ventricle into the fourth ventricle. That is one of the theories. And it also postulates that failure of this function of the subcommissural organ is one of the causes of hydrocephalus. Then, of course, there are other suggestions that perhaps it is also responsible for clearance of certain compounds from the CSF. But all these things are still in the stage of research, and therefore not much is known about this subcommissural organ.